Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zoo from Jeva. Today we're going to be talking about uh, vectors and how we use them to uh, measure things and distances. And we're going to be three, using 3D text with vectors and we're also going to be doing blips. As you can see that little X blip over there, which uh, hopefully you can hear because I can't hear anything right now. My game audio is really loud, but yeah, uh, let's get right into it. To get right into this video, we're going to be talking about vectors in GTA 5 and how useful they are. And uh, so, before we start, I'm going to tell you again: you're going to need the code in the description below because there's a function here that takes super long to type. And uh, yeah, it's in the client a little bit. This link will be in the description below for you guys, so make sure to check this out. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, I'm going to start off by uh, I'm going to tell you what we're going to make. We're going to be making a uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be we're gonna be doing 3D text. We're gonna be making a blip, blips, and using vectors. And vectors are super important because they're just useful and their data using like their dynamic, you know, usage. It's just a good way, good practice for you know, in, using direction and like coordinates. It's sort of like a table. I don't know. That's just my opinion. So let's get right into it. Um, I'm gonna be creating the resource. We're gonna be calling it vectors vectors there we go okay and then in here I'm gonna be creating a new file I'm gonna call it uh, underscore underscore resource dot Lua I'm also gonna be creating another file called the client sorry about the background noise that that's actually from outside because I have my window open but yeah I'm gonna start off by uh, going in the resource dot Lua I'm gonna be in here I'm gonna be uh, here, I'm gonna open this up so in here I'm gonna be uh, in resource that low, I'm gonna do a client underscore script, which is uh, client dot lua. Then in the client dot lua, I'm going to be uh, this is you know this is what we're doing. This is a client side script. So I'm gonna making. I have three vectors that I uh, I'm using for this. It's in like my spawn radius, so like we don't have to walk around and find it. I'm gonna copy and paste it from GitHub. So this is where. These are, this is basically what it is, what, like the things that I made just for this video. So I'm gonna start off with vector one. This first vector that we made, I just called it V1 as a variable. And this vector, vector three is a, uh, it's a function. I don't know if it's a native Lua function. I think it's just part of 5M. But this vector three means uh, it's a 3D vector and it requires three parameters. So as you see here, I have three parameters that's set at the airport. This uh, vector two, I did a 2D vector which just has two um, two points and vector uh, three has uh, it's 4D four points and it's you know in the airport so we're gonna be using these three vectors for what we're doing here so let's start off with using the second vector we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be using that I'm gonna show you how to actually use it for creating a blip so to create a blip I'm gonna call this I'm gonna create a variable called uh, okay blip uh, which is equal to at blip for chord and then we're gonna be used since we're using this one here I'm gonna get rid of these comments just so it doesn't get that confusing for you guys but we're gonna be using the second one second one so to actually use the data from in here we just do v2 dot x and then v2 dot y so we have uh, it's, it's it's using vector 2 X coordinate and vector 2 is Y coordinate, so that's that. And then uh, we have to actually, uh, you know, show it on the screen. So, and this will be setting the blip, the blip type. Uh, set blip sprite, which will be blip, because we're using this variable. And then I have an ID that I picked out, um, three six four. I'll tell you where to get these IDs from. Uh, it's from docs.5m.net slash game references. Um, blips right here. I'll put this link in the description below. You can choose any one you want. I just picked 364, which is just an X. So, yeah. And then we have to also do set blip display, which also is a function that uses blip. And then you could also put this all in one function. Uh, this is how I just found it to do it. I'm gonna do six, which just shows set blip display. It displays it on the mini map and the uh, main menu map. So that's that. And then we have to do set blip 
scale to set how big the blip is. I'm gonna do 0.9 because that's uh, the default one, I think. I don't know. I don't think. I think the default one just does not come with it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do uh, begin text. Sorry about that. Command. I actually gotta charge my phone right now. That's why it's crying. Um, begin text command string or actually no begin text command set blip name which will be a string type and then we type in uh, what was it add text component component that I cannot spell component string and then uh, do not enter I had a new keyboard by the way it's actually new it's from before but uh, a long time ago component string I just want to make sure I spelled this right I'm sorry okay yeah that's spelled right let me check if I spell it because I don't really feel like going back and uh, yeah that's all good so now we have to do uh, end text command set with name and that you just do uh, actually you just source of I don't know these last three, you just gotta do them. Like I said, you can put it on the one function, just do it like that, but this is how I found it to do it. And now we're gonna be using vector four, or the, the vector four, which is the third vector. I'm gonna be showing you how to use that. So I'm just gonna do a register command, uh, we'll call it teleport, so TP, and this has a function, uh, source, we're not even going to use so there's literally no point in writing that uh, you might need the source of it and then so in here i'm going to do set entity entity chords player head id which is function which we're this native works by just it's going to teleport you somewhere so it's you got to do the the plot for the person as the first parameter then since we're using vector three we just do uh Vector three dot x, vector three dot y, vector three dot z as the three parameters, and then you just need a true, like true. I forgot the reason, but I know the fat last one was to like clear the area or something. So I just have that false. Uh, you can search up this native uh, right here from the GitHub. That link right there. It's, it'll be in the description. So, and the other one to use the W, the vector four. This vector is four dimensions. So we're gonna be using this data right here. Uh, so to do that, we just do set entity. Um, I, I, I did not spell that right. Did I spell that? Yeah, I did not. Entity uh, heading, which we're using the last dimension for. So we gotta do player pet ID vector three dot W. Because it's a X Y Z. This is X Y Z W, uh, X Y Z, and this is X Y. So yeah, that's that's that. That's using that. Now I'm gonna show you how to do 3D text using vectors. So this one, this one takes a while. So I'm gonna I'm gonna showing you to copy. Um, I'll mark it right here. You gotta copy from line 54 or from 33 to 54. This is where I got it from. Uh, this link right here. It wasn't working at first. He just put it in. I don't know how he got it, but uh, yeah, I got it to work. So I just used his code. Uh, so shout out to Mix Zira. But uh, I'm just gonna be using this code in this video because uh, it's uh, I don't I, I it wasn't working for him, but I, I I got it to work for myself. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna copy that into there, and then um, now in here I'm gonna be creating a thread. Citizen dot create thread. function and then end it so then we have to do a while true um, loop here and then end the loop but every time we have to do citizen you, you guys know how it works now wait zero so in here we're going to be checking this basically we're going to be let's actually first draw the text so in here draw 3D text. So right here, as you can see up here, this requires four parameters: x, y, z, 
and then the text. So in here we're going to be doing uh, X, Y, Z. So we have already a vector here that says uh, we're going to be using vector 1 because it only has three dimensions. So literally all you got to do is just type in vector 1 and then comma uh, test. That's, that's literally all it is, which is why I love vectors. Vectors are fun. And uh, yeah, so it's going to be actually when you run this, it'll just be showing everywhere. Like it'll... It'll be in that direction where it is. Like it's kind of hard to confuse. It's a little complicated, but this 3D text will be showing everywhere. So we have to be showing if the if the distance between you and the 3D text is distance between here and you is far, like far enough, it'll disappear. But if it's close by, you'll see it. So we're actually going to be using a function that's made for. Uh, made for checking the distance between two vectors so it's called um, here, uh, it's called if or we're, we're gonna be using it like this so v dist 2 the reason it's 2 because it's a function it's like a faster function apparently when I was doing research on it but it's just a faster function so this uh, this fun native does uh, it checks the distance between two vectors uh, in a like efficient manner so that's that's basically that Actually, you know, never mind. Um, backspace. I don't know why. I was trying to indent it good. But so we have to check the distance between two vectors. To do that, it requires uh, what is it? Six parameters. If my math is right, there. Six parameters. So it's testing again. one x y z and then another x y z. But the thing is, with vectors, all you got to do is have. Um, well, we got to make a variable here. I'm gonna call it local uh, player chords is equal to table actually no, we don't even need to do that it's just uh, actually we don't even need to do that either I think that's just making it complicated just type in get entity uh, chords and then we're just doing player pet ID and then false I forgot what the last parameter does there but that's the first parameter for this vdisc native this is sending out one vector right here which is three like data sets and then we're checking vector one which is our first vector right here we're gonna be checking the distance if it's like constantly in this loop i'm not doing a good job explaining it but i'm sorry about that i'm trying my hardest um so we have to check if the distance between the player and the first vector up here is uh less than let's say uh what did i do i did five thousand now this is five thousand units uh i don't know the exact um the, the real unit for it but uh, like I, it's just that I don't really know it's just 5,000 so or I mean it's just I'll show you how, uh, how it works out but um by just doing print I'm gonna do print and then uh, I'll do the fetist I'll, I'll do that for you guys just so you guys can see like how it works it's gonna be always printing this so, so uh, that's that so now I'll see you guys in game and uh, see if this works Alright, so I did a little mistake. I was wrong about how you can just plot this, and I think it's because uh, this, this is just not how the function works. So, in here, um, we we just have to do um, what's it called? You can either change the function to allow it to have a vector, but this just has three parameters, and I was stupid for thinking it would just fit right in. I could have made the function to do that, but I just I just didn't. It'd just be a lot better if I just did it like uh, instead of v1, we do v1 that x. V1.y and V1.z. It'll just save a lot more time and I'm gonna restart vectors. Um, in here you can see the test is right there and when I was it's gonna spam output but you can see how far away you are from the vector so I'm gonna move a little farther away. Um, as you can see it's a thousand and to a point where I go to like um, here let me let me get like a little far you can see it disappears, and if I, you can see in here it's 5,000, we're 5,090, when I move a little back, we're in 4,000, so that's just basically it is, I don't know what the exact unit is, but uh, I'm sure you can do some research, and for the blip, you can see that the blip, it says do not enter right there, using that blip, and we use that vector to show that it's right here, uh, in this exact place, which is like a little far away, but that's how you use 3D, 3D text and vectors. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. These videos take a long time to make.
kinda. And, you know, I got other stuff to do. But, uh, you know, I'd appreciate it if you like the video, subscribe. Um, and yeah, sorry about that little error. But, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. And I'll see you in the next one.